morning guys welcome back to my channel i woke up this morning and thought why don't i do a week in the life i am in suffolk in a place called Oldborough, and i thought i could just show you around i spent all my childhood summers here and i love it so welcome to my week in the life in Oldborough fresh out the shower. I'm just gonna let this hair dry naturally in the sun, probably read my book. This is what I'm reading. It's about the civil war in Spain. It's really good. Hey guys, so I'm actually at the beach right now, um, but it's weirdly quiet, even though it's really busy. So I'm having to talk quite quietly, but we ventured out of the house, which is a big deal for us. And I think, Dad, are we going to be going in the sea soon? So we'll show you that. So the sea was freezing cold. Um, and now it's boiling. Hello glorious <laughs> mother. So guys we're actually on an evening walkies right now on our way to the Martello Tower which we will show you once we get there. Are we walking all the way there? Oh <laughs> here she is always last. So we actually had a bit of a drama earlier there was a fire in Oldborough, which never happens. Um, Dad, of course, went to chat to the firemen and... Socially distanced. Yeah, we hope. And it was a caravan. It was a big deal in this little town, wasn't it? Because you never yeah, hear you sirens. Know, you, you never hear sirens. So um, that was eventful. Oh, and just so you know, guys, no one was actually harmed or anything like that. It's all fine. Dad, would you like to have a throwing stone competition? My arm's playing up. Oh. Come on. Okay. So guys, comment down below who you think is going to win. Dad, do you forfeit then? Why did he do that? Guys, it is not Joe Stockwell's day today. He has been a nightmare. He's just thrown a stone for Dave to get and then Dave will probably eat a stone. So well played, Dad. The things we have to deal with, eh? We have. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We put up with a lot. Today. We put up with a lot today, yeah, and every day. Ready? Just say it again. I've got a bad shoulder. <laughs> no, that. <laughs> I thought you would be more like, so I'm not going to win. But fair enough. Fair enough. I've got a bad shoulder. Yeah. I'll probably still win. What? Three. Alright, well, three, three, after three, I'll go! Are you ready? <laughs> Every time. <laughs> you see? He tries. He tries so hard to beat me. He just can't. My dad just tried to throw underarm while I did overarm. He thought he could beat me then, but he still couldn't. I've got a bad shoulder. <laughs> Not bad. So guys, we're actually at the Martello Tower now that I told you about. Um, let me just show you. Dad, what is the historical relevance of the Martello Tower? Well, these are from the Napoleonic Wars, amazingly. So they're that old, and it was uh, to keep the lookouts to defend our shores from the foreign French potential attackers. Excellent! Little history lesson for you all there. 
Okay guys, I'm now gonna be cooking dinner. So I'm going to be making a... I hear a dog. I see a dog. Hello dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he thinks he's going in for a bath, but he's not. So I'm going to be making a black bean chili. I'm gonna wash my hands now because I've touched Dave. Dad, this is a weird cooker. You have to use a match to light it. You were right. Yeah. You got kids. Yeah. You got kids. Yeah. And a, and a wife. Yeah. Bless him. He pretended to care, didn't he? Yeah. Well, I did. Salt bay. I'm actually fuming when you get a brown avocado. Look at this. That's Gaston. Do you say hi? Hi! Well, I can't say how much I'm looking forward to this meal because it's um, one of my favourites. Um, let's just see how much chilli powder she put in. And uh, yeah, it'll be, uh, well, we'll come back later and tell you. Yes, indeed. It's ready! And so am I! Dinner is served. Please ignore his crazy hair, but Dad, um, what did you think of that? Oh my word, it was fab and I only had fourths. <laughs> what did you think of it? What, your lovely meal? Yeah. It was so nice, tasty, mm, lovely. <laughs> Daughter goals. Where do you want it? So guys, my mum has asked me to strip the dog. And if you don't have a border terrier, you probably think I sound mental, but it's basically where you just pull the hairs out of a border terrier because that's how you groom them. It doesn't hurt them if you do it properly but Dave sometimes gets fed up. Um, but I'll show you before and after. This is Dave before. And here is Dave after. Are you annoyed with me for stripping you? <laughs> Do you want a treat? Have you been a good boy? Good boy. This is what I got off of Dave. Gross. Oh no. <laughs> That is what lockdown does to you. Stunning though. <laughs> this is the famous fish and chip shop that we are getting fish and chips from tonight. Fun little fact for you, this is Ed Sheeran's favorite fish and chip shop. And uh, the queue is always unbelievably long. Fish and chips is here. Exciting. Oh yes. How excited are we for the fish and chips? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that lighting. <laughs> Yum, yum, yum. Size of that, oh, I did not put that flash on. Um, anyway, look at the size of that. Mushy peas, and then a bit random, we've got gherkins. And the necessity, beer. Yeah. Cheers. Guys, comment down below what your fish and chip order is and where you get it from, let us know. Ah. And also guys, it's actually Mary and Joe's 37th wedding anniversary today so comment down below a big happy anniversary to those two love birds because they are hashtag couple goals so guys we are actually going to go for a bike ride now which is something that we always do here in Oldbury. yeah we do Dad? definitely look forward and, to it um, we'll show scouting you locations yeah and we will show you some of the sites on the way the sites of Oldbury that is which is very exciting very so enjoy See you in a bit. So guys, sorry for the grim day today. How annoying when it's lovely weather otherwise. But this is the seafront. And this is the Brudenel, which is a lovely hotel and restaurant that we love to dine at. And we also once rented a room so Dad could watch the football. And here we have Fishers, which is a new gin company. Um, and we have tried it 
and we absolutely love it. This is this tiny house and people in Albury love to come and look at it because it's so small. It's tiny! And then we have the princess tower behind me. And I always believed that a princess lived up there. My dad has just informed me that this is the best fish hut in Oldborough. And now we have the lifeboat. I will take you up to show because as a kid I used to love doing this. And here it is. The lifeboat. And on some fun days they do a little practice rescue, which is always exciting. This is the boating lake, where as a kid you take your boats and race them. And the mill pub, another of dad's favourites. And I was actually that annoying kid that took um, an electronic boat that my dad got me on the boating lake. <laughs> yes, I was that annoying kid and I regret it. My brother and sister weren't, but um, I had fun. And someone has dressed up this little dog who is called Snooks. Okay, girls. <laughs> okay, guys, now we are at one of my favorite places um, that has become quite famous in Oldborough, which is this shell. This shell was made by Maggie Hamling. Is that how you say it? Yeah. To celebrate Benjamin Britten, who, he wasn't born here, was he? But he lived here. Benjamin Britten lived here, and there is a lot of Benjamin Britten stuff around Oldborough. He's, um, he's a legend here, isn't he? Yeah. And in the distance, again, so sorry for this awfully foggy day, but you can see Thorpe Ness, and that right there, is the house in the clouds. Thought I'd show you it a bit more up close. So, look how massive it is. I'll stand next to it to show you. Can you see? Yeah, it's like I want to say hi, guys. So, today I am in the lovely Ultra. This right here is the in Thorpness, or as Itzel likes to call it, Thorpness. We are a little bit closer to the house in the clouds, as you can see. Here we are at the mere, which is Peter Pan themed. They all have a different name. And here is the house in the clouds. Thorpness Windmill. Feel like I'm in the Netherlands. Also guys, I have this weird thing where I keep getting a rash on my arm at certain places in Suffolk. And it must be a plant or something, but we have no idea what it is. So comment down below if you have any ideas what that could be. I'm a bit sweaty because look at my hair in the humidity. Name that reference. Um, but I have brought you to the Stockwell family favourite view. Again, it's really foggy, so that's not great. But I'll show you it anyway. So you can just see over all the houses and imagine this on a nice day. I'm really sorry, but it's not a nice day. We have a little routine of doing exercises in the evening. So that is what we're going to do now. Is my bum down? Down a bit. Done. Oh! <laughs> Woo! 100. Yeah. So, guys, we're going to end the vlog. <laughs> we didn't even play bat and ball. No, I know. Or show them pool or anything. Okay, guys, so we're going to end the vlog here. Um, it's been great fun. Thank you, Brilliant. Mum and Dad, for having oh, me. Pleasure. A bit of a different vlog, but we gave you a tour of Oldborough, which was the purpose of it. Sorry that the weather wasn't great. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever been to Oldborough. 
planning you, to come yeah if you plan to come see you next time bye, bye. and don't forget subscribe